and here the beauty is 1796 they reckon just at the end of the Dutch stranglehold of the milling industry the Dutch East India Company this was the first private mill in Cape Town actually built by Van Rien and not Mostert, his son-in-law Okay, um, that's it. Um, no, that's that's where we want it. Okay. Huh? The neck. No, not the, no. What is this? Is this the neck beam? Okay. And let's see whether it can make a complete pass. Just. <laughs> no, it can't. Yes, it can. And it's. Um, it's clear that I haven't got enough here. We could still uh, mount this on a block between this and the laid uh, top slide and swing this over. I can't swing it over a long way. Probably yeah. the, the brake sh uh, the the brake brake wheel has yeah. got a very big taper that way. It's yeah. smaller in diameter. We could measure the diameter. It comes because the brake wheel is falling the side all the okay. time. So it's going to be more likely to rub on the in the side than that side. Yeah. You can see there's quite a lot of... Okay, so we didn't measure that. Um, just tell him to move very slowly if you can call out. Can't reach, yeah. But in the meantime, let's go, go a few more times uh, by hand. How's it going, Andy? This is really exciting. Uh, it's going to take quite a number of cuts. This is actually the second cut. And we've got to... The maximum diameter is over on that end of the wheel. So it will run through until it's not touching. Then we go back and we advance here and then do another cut. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy. From the other side, below the slopes of Devil's Peak there, Table Mountain, just below the university here. And here's the mill from the other side. And on the left here is the old Tropfloor, the 
uh, threshing floor where they would lay out the wheat in its, uh, on its stalk still and uh, get it out of the grains out of the eyes by walking on it with uh, donkeys or horses. We've just drawn a line with the lathe on the brake wheel to give us the starting point of the first block. We'll probably make a lot, of, a lot more uh, lines like this as we go along. Otherwise, the danger is that the blocks start going skew. Uh, this is uh, the, the finish that it's left after sanding. It, it really is, you know, like ready for, uh, ready for varnish if it was a tabletop. I can feel the difference here, but uh, this was just a trial. Gosh, that's like a tabletop. Use the uh, two masonite sheets to be able to trace off the exact shape of the uh, brake block, the top brake block uh, assembly, so that when we've layered on the wood and machined it round again, because uh, the outside will be a, a number of flats, that we can work out how much more to take off the new blocks to be the right diameter for the brake blocks. Otherwise, we've got to dismantle the, uh, the lathe, get it out of the way, rig the brake blocks back into position, test it, say, no, we've got to take a little bit more, or, oops, we've taken too much off, perhaps. Uh, so that's the reason for today's measuring, taking a tracing with the board of the brake blocks and with a tape measure, measuring the circumference of the wheel, from that we can get the exact uh, diameter as it is now. Okay, okay so now we've got to we've got to clamp this on, and uh, uh, there we need spaces at the back there uh, because uh, there are these rivet, riveted um, uh, pins through it. So and the ropes, so we can't quite. Uh, 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 clamp right up against the brake blocks themselves. Okay, we're ready with a square then, um, because now we've got the two, the relationship between the two. When we dismantle it, we can lay it down in the workshop and put the bolts in again and match up the lines I've just made, and then uh, then we should be able to draw a string and uh, work out the exact uh, radius here.